this is a uh, base camp the only thing I found here that was wrong <coughs> I had water here I put this stick here hope it helps <coughs> but uh, it's almost like I left it basically um this thing over here had water also so I had to dump that water and, I, and it had two spots of water but it had there's no damage out here from the snow or anything like that which is good all right I'll talk to y'all later there's like a couple of little scam things you gotta watch out for wish I think Amazon does the same thing I really don't know I know shop on Amazon I heard it's better but I've been buying a lot of stuff off of wish cheap ass stuff this is where I took the picture of the buzzard this is where the snugger got on it and on the string and this is the camera that caught it all right I'll be back gotta fix the camera that's Dirk well hello there I'm Ranger Kooky I come out here after a month almost a month and a half I had the flu since December 12th and I didn't have a chance to come out here to check my camps after the hard freeze all the snow but my camp is holding out I just checked the water let's take a look take a look up there for me make sure everything's all right all right up there I hope so okay looks like everything's all right from what I could see so we doing good um, I know they had ice on this thing but it melted that's I didn't check the, the latrine and don't forget folks the camping season for uh, 2017 is around the corner for those who want to come out here give me about a month's notice and I can set something up for us to go camping at Hobo no one has never come out here besides Donnie never camped but he came out here the grumpy guy came out here and he camped bear came out and camped all right the latrine looks good usually there's a fox lives on there I need to change that out oh yeah <laughs> I need a new one for for the season so I came out here I've been having I uh, had a flu around December 12th and it lasted about a month I've been taking medicine medication and I finally got over about two weeks ago and finally got warm enough I can come out here and enjoy myself for a few hours check out hobo and base camp and since I'm out here I want to talk about wish I've been buying a lot of products off of wish and I want to let you know something wish is good product I'll tell you from experience that <clears throat> the The uh, product from Wish is good product. I can tell you that right now. This is my logbook. I'm just signing that we came out here to check uh, the second, the 21 of. I mean, this is not my check log. Hmm. My camping log. Yeah, I got a little logbook out here. So every time I come out here to, to check my camp, I put it in a logbook. And every time I come out here to camp, I put it in a logbook. Who camped with me? What, who, or what animal I brought out here? So back to the subject. Wish has good product. Twenty-one, two thousand eighteen.
So, just to let you know, there's some scams on Wish that we, you need to know about. So while I'm checking Hobo and my base camp, we'll tell you about it. Okay. Wish has the problem. I said that already. But they got like three or four types of scams to get you there. Like free shipping. Do not do free shipping. Just pay the shipping. They get you twice for the product that they want for only a dollar. I already did research about it. Trust me. Do not do anything free shipping. They're going to scam you. They're going to get their money. Trust me on that. They're going to get their money. Twice. Second type of scam to have is the double picture. You see double picture. And you say, man, that's a good life for $8 for two of them. That's $4 each. So you click on that bitch and you don't realize it says one. You have bought one, not two, but one. So that's like a scam in our book. You, they try to trick your mind thinking there's two items for sale for that price. And you get it. And when you get it home, and when you get when you get that product, it's only one. I did that already. I saw a picture it had two items in it. I'm like, that's cool. Two dollars for two of those? That's a dollar a piece. I can't beat that. I'll go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. So I got that. When it came in, it was one. I'm like, wait a minute. I saw a picture of two. Then I read the thing, it says one. <coughs> so free shipping, don't do. Just buy, right out, buy out the item. Because here, here's the uh, free shipping stuff. This is a scam. I went over there, I saw this item. It's a little... Cut. You. All right, action. All right. The free, the uh, free shipping is a scam. They're gonna get you. They're gonna get their monies back. One way or the other, they're gonna get their money plus some. I saw this little camera thing that you put your camera in. You can go swimming with with your camera and go underwater for uh, for free. This free shipping. So I'll tag it and see what happens. Eight dollars to ship that bitch. Eight dollars. I might like, wait a minute. Let me take a look. So when you scroll, there's different companies has the same item, and it all go to the wish. Then they ship it to you. See, it's real cheap, but good product. They, instead of going through a second man, you're going through straight to the man who made the damn thing. He's giving you a discount. Plus, it's going to take two months or a month to get to you. So, you got to wait. Let's take a look at the scenery. So, you got to wait a month or so to get your item. But, hey, it's worth it. I've been buying off, uh, I wish, for a while, and they got some good products. You just have to wait. Now back to the story, free shipping. That same item, I went down, it says a dollar. I'm like, I'm all right, I'm gonna buy that for a dollar. Clicked on it, the same item with a little camera bag, two dollars total. Dollar for shipping, a dollar for the item. And guess what? When it was free, I had to pick the pink one. I didn't want the pink one, I wanted the green one. But you, they, you, they, they, that's the other part of the scam of free shipping. You gotta get what they want. With them what they, they want to give you because they got too many pink ones. No one's buying the pink ones, so they're gonna give those for free, but they're still gonna get their money back plus some. <clears throat> so it was the same item, it was two dollars. They tried to rip me off. So I didn't buy it because I was just doing this uh, uh, thing. And I think what was the last thing was the. Uh, there's double picture. You think you're getting two, but it's only one. Uh, oh yeah, the shipping. There's a little car on the bottom. So it's shipping. I bought like ten items for like two dollars, five dollars, and eight dollars. It came out to fifty-two dollars. I'm like fifty-two dollars? What the hell? And it was the shipping. You could pay a dollar and and take three weeks, or pay eighteen dollars and get it next week. It 
it was a, that's I think that's a scam but that's on you if you want to make it go faster but paying $18 for an item that you don't really need right now I can wait that's me it was another little thing I forgot to, I want to talk about I'll be right back I got a camera to fix well hello there I'm the ranger and today is canteen cup day I'm having chicken flavor with broccoli and pink salmon let's take a look at it I'm here at my base camp cooking my meal for tonight All my meals are easy and quick to cook. Simple. I'm ready to eat. I want to cook now, eat, and be over with. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. They do help. This is Canteen Cook Day. See you next video. Do dogs always do that? A few minutes ago, I came out here and I threw some bread in front of this camera for animals. Well, that's a camera. Right, I threw some bread out here. Then I saw a dog sneak over here, grab a piece of, of bread, and went over here and buried it. Does your dog do that? It's always French bread. I never see him do it with normal bread. It's like a French bread. They take it and pick it up. Watch, let's see if he does it. Go ahead. Maybe you don't want me to watch. Okay, I will watch. You just do what you want to do, okay? Let's see if he had to do it again. Go ahead. Do what you want to do. Go ahead. Get your piece of bread. Go ahead. Well, like I said, he took a piece of this French bread and he went over there and buried it. I noticed that with all dogs, I noticed. There's something curious. Good medicine. Let's see. See, he won't take it in front of me, but he'll pick up a piece when I'm not looking and he'll go bury it. Let's see if he'll do it again. I'll leave the camera right there. Well, he didn't get another piece, but take your dog and give him a piece of fresh bread and see what he does. I wonder if she or he will bury it. That's what, that's what he did. He took a piece, snuck over there, and buried it. All right, we're going to take off where we left off. Come on, we'll start cooking. We're cooking. You want me to go ahead and open it up? Yeah, open it uh, up. We need another pan. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait, wait. Let's do this.
That's glass. Yes, but no, but watch. Is that heated? Oh, oh yes. See, I'm prepared. Yeah. You got that outdoor living in here. Come you. on. All right. All right, we got our peas and carrots and this glass Tupperware. Right. And we have potatoes and corn. And I need to put a lid on that. Let's find a lid. Oh, there's a lid. Hey, cup of Okay, car. okay. Now, how to do this with the liquid? Uh, go pour the... the Juice in the carrot. Yeah, oh, wait. Yeah, potatoes out. Now, you say away. How far? I mean... This round edge of the uh, camp or round side camp. All right. This is the the update of the cooking show of the ranger cookie and the ranger thumper that's what you want to call himself right there. that's good he's going to dump the we cooking rice peas and carrots and something else i forgot what it was but something else and our alcohol burner finally only went out oh my god That's gonna be a freaking meal from hell. Yes. We always have to have a. My family always made big meals. All right, I need that lighter, sir. All right. That's way too much alcohol. Uh, we, but we need to cook this meal. Yeah, my mom always put together a lot of meals. So when my brother came by for lunch, it was always in the fridge. That's kind of weird with the red light. All right, so he has peas and corn, and we're gonna fill those two cans with grease. All right, just, just strike that up. <laughs> Isn't that gonna bite you? <laughs> no, it's not gasoline, man. It's not gasoline. All right, now we got, uh, turn on a light here. Now we got corn and um, potato. And we're gonna get another bowl, maybe if we. Oh, there's a bowl. We're gonna get another bowl to put that in. All right, it's nice and clean before I left everything. All right, let's do this. Let's try to clean up our little area for uh, for our meal. We to do that with the can. Uh, put it over there by that grease thing. Okay, we're going to clean up our area. Uh, and this video is going to be edited since it's not live now. So I can edit it if I'm, we keep talking and we don't have to edit. Because that's the fun part. Editing is only when you're not making sounds and talking. Okay, I got my spork. Uh, that uh, over here. In here. here. And we're going to put that right here. We got some cookies for later on if we get hungry for that. We got some cheese wheels. Go check this out. Yeah, go check. That should be almost ready. We got Pringles chips. All right, if you have to take it off, take it off. If not, bring it over here and put it on this round disc. See, I even got little, I got cigarette uh, things for people who smoke. So I'm all ready for here. Okay, got my plate. I got my spoon. Okay, I'll put it on that metal plate right here. There you go. Just like at home. And here's your, here's a spork. Since you didn't bring one, I don't believe. Yes, I brought a fork. Okay, give me mine's back then. Fork. Even though we got our silverware, I mean our goldware. There it is. Look our goldware. And All right. We, since we you have, took we have tuna and yams for later. What All right. Since you took that stuff off, we can go burn. That stuff. Right. I got it. All right. All right. We're going to watch it burn. We're going to put that can of stuff on there. All right. Here comes the fun part. Watch this, folks. 
if I don't bury myself like usual. All right, here, take your can. This place. In the box, we got the box too. Yeah, put it in our. See, you, if you burn your cans when you're out here, that keeps the critters from getting in your camp. That's what they say. I got flour everywhere. <laughs> flour. Listen to me. Why did I put that plastic in there? Sometimes you don't think until it's too late. Here. Listen to that can sizzling. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish a live stream. Because the other one was too long and I didn't want to do all the editing stuff. So I'm going to do a live stream the rest of the video so goodbye i'll see you in a few seconds Come on, let's go. well hello there i'm ranger cookie and i want you to meet my new camping buddy that's going to be on his adventures with me so uh what you introduce you to captain thumper thumper and scar scar de derg he has his he's taking over another pack belong to another derg so what you got out here? What are you doing out here in the middle of the woods? We're going to go get some wood and make a fire. <laughs> so he has his camping gear. Yep. Show me everybody you got. Right now we're waiting for his uh, sleeping bag. A tent bag, pillow, radio. And he has the uh, Molly 2. Fully stocked. Fully stocked. Like, like an engine, fully stocked. So tell everybody, what's your true adventures of, what, what are you, why, why are you doing this? <laughs> because I want to take a month, I want to take a month vacation one day, maybe two, and uh, hit all the free parks. <laughs> so basically I'm showing them all the ropes of right. survival gear, camping gear. Got my lights set up. Yeah, he has uh, Lucy lights and some rope. He has a chair. Well, that's his chair. Yeah, that's my chair. <laughs> Four dollar, four dollar for that chair. And we got the Ranger cookie set up. I didn't bring my, I got my hammock. Uh, I noticed a lot of dew in this thing. So I hope it's all dried inside. Yeah, it's finally dried. But this is my little home for the night. And so we're about to go collect this wood. We ready to go collect and wood. I get, I get to try out my new crappy machete. Yeah, crappy machete. Yeah. It's gonna work. He has the, uh, saw blade the saw blade and the normal machete so i know that, it feels pretty sharp all right let's go uh let's go adventure and getting some wood we could just wait till later on this evening well we gotta make some coffee so you can get some pine cones to make coffee how about your alcohol burner i have uh, about 10 quarts with me so you well, i'll use only one to get so you you gonna make coffee at night with your alcohol burner? We're gonna, we're gonna make coffee, but uh, we gotta have the little fire going because we got some wood, we got some wind hitting off the water, and, you know. So uh, at least cool it down. It's always good to have a nice little fire. I mean, look look at what's out here. Nothing. Yeah, it's this so is quiet. It's it's a little campground. This is a PO my location. This is a POW camp in Mississippi. Oh, it's no big deal. No big deal. You gave it to it's no big deal. Everybody knows where this is. I come out here all the time. So he's gonna go over here and see if he can find some firewood, and he's gonna make himself some coffee. Uh, I brought the machete along just in case. You never know. We might run across something. Gotta kill. We kill, try kill, not kill. to. We don't want to kill nothing. You don't try to kill nothing. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is Captain Thumper. See y'all next video. Well, hello there. I'm Ranger Cookie. I'm out here playing with a alligator. He's about eight foot tall. Eight foot tall, listen to me. About eight foot. He's right there. I'm sorry this crappy camera can't pick him up. But I had my dog Scar splash the water to bring him up. And he was going after my dog. He's ready to eat Scar for lunch. 
And there he is, right there. Right there. That mean old gator. He tried to eat my scar. Now, he was a little further out and I let my dog hit the water, brought him in closer. I think it's too close there and too close over here. So I'm not gonna throw the stick in the water for the, the gator to eat my derg. But uh, he's right there, look at him. Look how big that thing is. Let's see if I can move around so you guys see him in the, the water. Okay. Camera's so far away, but he's right about there. Scott, come on. Go, go get the stick. Get it, get it. Oh, he's crying. Get it, Scar. Scar, get the stick. Get the stick. That mean old gator is just sitting right there. He, he turned around. He was going towards me, Dirk. Gator almost eats my Dirk. I'm Ranger Kiki. Hope you see you next video.